what does MAGA mean to you then? So make America great again. What does that mean to you? The America I grew up with, we want it back. We want people to stop censoring us. We want them to stay away from our Second Amendment. We want freedom of, uh, freedom of religion. So if you're a conservative, if you're a Christian, if you're white, you're male, it doesn't matter what color you are. We want people to be respected for who they are. We don't need to have stones of infinity stones because you're black, you're gay, you're trans. We just want everybody to be treated equal. And they're trying to say that we're the, the party of the racist party when they're the ones actually want Jim Crow rules back. And what way? Well, way, um, colleges, they want to have black and white graduations. They want to separate us. Where do they, where do they want that? Uh, what colleges? Man, look, okay, I don't know, Google it. Make America Great Again, what does that mean to you? What's the again? To me, the again means that we have somewhere safe where we can have those freedoms that we are so lucky to enjoy. There are so many people throughout the world that do not have what we have, and it is a blessing. That's why we have people that want to be here, and we will fully encompass all of that greatness again. When did we last have it, if it's again? I feel like we did have that when, when President Trump was in office. Um, I feel like we can work with what he built on in the first um, presidency and make it even better. When he was running in 2016, it was before he'd even been president, but he was still saying, make it great again. Again from when? Um, that is a good question. I would say if I could guess, it would be, um, and I think that they're very politically um, lined up, would be maybe with JFK and when he was president and what we embodied with some optimism and um, freedoms that we didn't have before and trying to find that. When was America last great? Four years ago, <laughs> or three years ago. Well, he was saying it before he got there. He was saying, make it great again. So he didn't think, what, 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 did, that, what did that message mean to you then? I felt Reagan, President Reagan was an excellent president too. And nobody between Reagan and, and Trump? I am not a Democrat, so... Well, you had George I, I Bush there, and you had George Bush's son. He was right, yeah, but I still liked President Reagan. Make America Great Again. It's his, been his mantra since he's run in 2015. What does that mean? What is again? When was America great? Well, that question right there says everything that I need to know about, about you, that you don't really think America was ever great at any time. I think America was great. The spirit, the whole purpose for America was about the American spirit, coming here and making something for yourself and having the opportunity to do that for yourself, to work hard. And that's what America is all about. So the people that hate America will always say, well, when was it ever great? It's just not a very good attitude to have, in my opinion. And when was that lost in, in your estimation? Um, I think a lot of it was lost when the Federal Reserve took over the money system. Uh, we need to go back to a gold and silver backed system where currency is, is, it counts. What does Make America Great again mean to you? It means uh, the uh, uh, stopping the invasion of our nation by uh, illegal immigration. It means uh, uh, rebuilding our economy that's been destroyed by the Biden administration. And it means uh, making us secure in the world again through our strength in the world that keeps the whole world in check. What does that mean to you, the again part of that? When was it great to you? Supposed to have been great in the founding era. Um, then it got changed in the middle 1800s, and I won't go into all the details because that's too long of a story. But that was, that, that was slavery in the Civil War. It's a little different than that because in the late 1800s, the um, manipulators bought out all the school publishers, and so they changed the, te the narratives. And so that's when America was great then around that time? It's supposed to have been great up until, well, maybe up to the time of Andrew Jackson. And when was it great in your lifetime? Unfortunately, the cognitive dissonance is such that it actually never really was. There you have it. Nobody wants to tell you when America was great again, or America was always great, or America was never great. Except for the former. He kind of let out the secret. That America was great. The last time America great was when only white people had rights. And that's exactly what Donald Trump meant. People, when you ask Trumpers, 
make America great means, what does it mean? They simply say when Trump was president. But Trump was saying this in 2015 before he was ever elected president. So what time was he talking about? We stand on the shoulders of these courageous Americans. Your ancestors did not pour out their blood, sweat, and tears so that we could sit at home while others try to erase their legacy and destroy our proud American heritage. That's what the Democrats are trying to do with their crazy policies. The one supporter said Ronald Reagan. Trump bashes Ronald Reagan. Since Bush the first, and that includes, I mean, that includes a lot of territory. Frankly, Ronald Reagan. You remember, I didn't love his, I thought he was great. I loved his style, his attitude. He was a great cheerleader for our, you know, for the country but not great on the trades. So they have completely different ideas of when America was great. And if people don't know, Donald Trump and Ronald Reagan had two different forms of administration. Reagan actually raised taxes a lot, of, even though he said he wouldn't, he raised taxes a lot. Ronald Reagan also supplied weapons and allowed drugs to run rampant in the United States of America. So this problem that they talk about at the Southern border with illegal immigration, don't forget, Ronald Reagan gave more amnesty to to people from our southern uh, southern from the southern continent than damn near any president before him or after him. So their idea of make America great again is is this illusion, it's a nod and a wink to white supremacy. Anyone dancing around that issue aren't being truthful; it's fanciful. That's all it is. Make America great again is code to make black people slave, make brown and other people unwelcome in America. Their ideal of making America great again is before the Statue of Liberty. It's before I had the right to be free and others that look like me. Don't need to dress it up. That's all it means. But Democrats have really screwed America for the last year. Let's reflect on just some of that. One party rule for one year and America will be working for years to come to recover from the left's total and complete failures. Democrats have failed at our southern border. Over two million illegal aliens have crossed our southern border during Biden's year long nap and their vegetable in chief tried to send them $450,000 a pop. Yep, drug smuggling is up, human smuggling is up, and we're seeing historic numbers of thieves, felons, and murderers crossing our southern border. Democrats have failed internationally. Hundreds of Americans left stranded in Afghanistan, and billions of dollars of military equipment left behind. I'm not sure what Joe Biden and his woke generals left more of in Afghanistan. American citizens, America's military equipment, or American pride. Now, of course she fails on many levels, but what I mean is her delivery is just perfect. Whether it be calling out the woke generals, yes, yeah, she really did that. She called out the woke generals, you know, the people who are in charge of war and defending the country and ultimately people who are responsible for thousands, if not more than that, lives being lost. Yes, those people are so woke. Joe Biden and his woke generals. The southern border, everything's just a mess because, of course, everything was just fine until big bad Joe Biden hit office. Everything was good, but once he got in office, everything went to shit. Now, one of the most ridiculous arguments to me that Republicans continuously make is that somehow, whenever Democrats are in office, drug smuggling increases. But of course, this isn't the case. And I'll talk about this in many of my videos that I've done here. NAFTA is what opened the floodgates for drug smuggling to be easier than it ever had. Because on the southern border, there's so many truckloads of goods, of trade goods, of all different types of things that come over the border. You just can't stop all the drugs because they paint this picture like, you know, the drug smugglers, they have it on their backs. They have all the drugs in their backpacks and they're hiking across the desert and they come in with the caravans because, you know, th there's no way that the Border Patrol would see these huge quantities of drugs. Cartels move tons of drugs. That's the quantity that they move. Tons. You're not moving tons of drugs in a backpack crossing the border on foot. That's not how this works. Drugs get here via 18-wheeler trucks, boats, submarines, and airplanes. And a lot of that Yes, indeed, was because of 
the North American Free Trade Agreement. Regardless, America will be working for years to regain the trust of our allies and the respect of our enemies. And then, of course, she goes into the tirade to say America is going to be working for years to regain the respect of our allies and the respect of our enemies. Because, you know, when Donald Trump was in office, the entire world just respected us so much. You know how he would, you know, go up in front of the entire world and call himself a stable genius and say that, he and his administration accomplished more than any other administration in history. My administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. And all the buffoonish things that he did World leaders literally laughing at us. No, no, no. Of course, erase that part of history. But no, no. Now that Joe Biden's in there, Biden was in there when Obama was in there. Biden's been in there. Like, world leaders have known Biden for decades. He's not a new face. The North American military machine, or rather the American military machine, is what made us such a strong empire. That's what did it. So this isn't a new thing, but of course we have to have people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, or Donald Trump in office, because if we don't, we're really, really risking our national respect and we can't have that. So in 2024, make sure that you vote for Donald Trump because only then will America stand a chance on the world stage. Of course, I'm kidding. Don't vote for Donald Trump in 2024.